All right. So, hey, guys, we got a collab here starting from the top of my screen going to the right. We've got some other joining in later. We got Bruce from uh, DeFi Life. DeFi Life. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't think of it. Draw a blank. You got me from uh, uh, Drip Farm for Property. And we got at the bottom uh, DeFi Crypto Talk. And yo, yo. Should, should have Moonshot Max and S Crypto 101 joining in this as we carry out. So it's going to be kind of a, just an organic talk collab. And we want you guys to give us some feedback after you watch this video of what you would like to see us share and kind of discuss um, in regards to adding value to you as our viewers. So um, I'll just start off with the very first question. We'll just go around the table. Uh, let's go with Bruce since you're in the top left there. How did you get into crypto and then specifically into Drip? Okay, great. Yeah. First of all, great to meet all you guys and uh, be great to connect a lot more in, in, in the future. So nice to meet you, first of all. Uh, how I got into crypto was uh, basically I, I, I live in Indonesia and I've been in Indonesia for 10 years now. And when COVID hit my restaurant business that I run here in Indonesia, I uh, got hit hard as as most restaurants did around the world. We got hit pretty hard and I started looking for alternative ways to make money. And that was about March 21. And I, I'm also a passionate photographer. So I started looking for ways to sell my photos through NFTs. And then uh, after a few months of trying that, I discovered other cryptocurrencies and uh, started experimenting and, and uh, investing in blue chip cryptos and then discovered DeFi and uh, the the ohm forks <laughs> and the node node seasons and got wrecked on those and then after a few months of getting wrecked on various uh DeFi projects i found drip probably early december and i started kind of investing in drip uh and i got into drip the, the faucet and the drip garden pretty much the same time started uh dcaing into that and then from there, I always had a plan to make a YouTube channel, but it wasn't specifically for Drip or, or Drip Network or anything like that. It was really just for DeFi and crypto in general. But it, Drip ended up being my my main focus because I it just became, it was obvious, it was so strong and and uh, there was such a big community around Drip. So it ended up be, being my main focus on my channel. I try not to keep it my main focus, but it, it ends up being that way anyway, because it's so strong and, and uh, just keeps on going. Anyway, that's that's my story. Short, short and sweet. Nice. I like it. Perfect. All right. We'll head over to DeFi Crypto Talk. I'll go last. Yeah. So uh, I initially got in, uh, I was in around the 2017, 2018 timeframe. I had a friend of mine who was into Bitcoin. He said, hey, you got to check this out. Uh, some kind of digital currency of some type. So I got into it. And uh, um, after that, uh, you know, just started reading about all the different protocols. And uh, I didn't really get into DeFi until about, let's say about 2020, roughly time frame. And just like everybody else, it's like we were just talking about, uh, I got extremely wrecked in a whole lot of other projects. And I figured after a while that basically trying to go in any DeFi project is like, a, you know, walking through a minefield, especially nowadays. So I ended up uh, eventually finding Drip. And, uh, you know, I just saw that it had, you know, that longevity Hello, that I was looking for. And uh, that's where uh, that's where I ended up. So and here I am. And as far as the YouTube channel, Hello. I mean, I've been I didn't uh, make the channel just to initially it was just to help people from getting wrecked. And, uh, you know, just talk about the just my overall goal of, you know, trying to make sure everybody just stay safe out there. And then uh, it just changed to promoting drip since drip has been going for a while. And, you know, I feel pretty safe and confident in it. So. That's just a little bit how I got in the trip and uh, also by my YouTube channel. Nice, man. Awesome. Looks like we just got uh, Moonshot. He joined us. I heard him uh, popping in. Uh, we'll see if he's yeah, available. Yeah, we got you loud and clear, Moonshot Max. You, can you hear us? He says he can't hear us at the moment. So let's see well, what we'll do. Um, I'll go ahead and give my introduction. Anybody on my channel, you probably guys already know. So I got started into um, drip, not drip, but uh, crypto in general way back in the early days, actually around like 2011, 2012, uh, I have an IT background. So I was actually mining Bitcoin on uh, IT servers 
in the military. Uh, so uh, don't know what happened to those servers. I think they ended up in the recycling bin somewhere and uh, you know, we lost all that money, whatever it was. It was more of just a fad or a fun thing to IT to do that we had all these uh, out of date servers and we're like, yeah, let's give this a shot, see what happens. And then forgot about it for about three to five years, popped back up in 2016, purchased some Bitcoin in a wallet somewhere again on another computer. Uh, don't know what I did with that. <laughs> Didn't get back into it again until around like uh, 2019 out here in Cambodia when I was trying to, uh, much like Bruce, build a business. Um, but mine was for fitness. So I was trying to get some stuff and equipment and whatnot from China shipped over here. So purchased some Bitcoin and started getting back into it. And then uh, didn't get heavy into it until the DeFi summer. So uh, into 2020 uh, and primarily 2021, same as Bruce mentioned, it was kind of the uh, the uh, global pandemic shutting things down and looking for another alternative and then kind of pushed that way and found drip around actually November, but thought it was just another uh, pump and dump like all the other rug projects I had gotten into. So I ignored it. I actually got exposed to it from Juvier's Gems and he just pumps everything on his channel. So I was just like, nah, I'm not getting into this one. I followed him into a couple other projects and got wrecked. So I waited until I saw another AMA with him. And then uh, that was around like late January. And then I ended up first getting it after, um, right, first week in February. And then it's kind of been all drip related content, specifically because I know I built my, my channel on drip so i just wanted to keep it drip and i realized i got wrecked so many times on other projects i didn't want people following in my footsteps so that's why i just don't cover everything anything else i just in good conscience <laughs> i know that it's just gambling and i'm like people will just gamble with me and i feel bad about it so i decided not to all right moonshot you are up so the question that we are asking if you can hear us now is how did you get into drip slash crypto welcome back Yes, guys. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Super excited to be here. Um, well, I got into drip. Um, I got into crypto last year. What's so funny was my um daughter was was dating this um this guy, and during dinner time, he was like, "Oh, do you, do you know this thing called Dogecoin?" And I was like, "Dogecoin? What's a Dogecoin?" Now I've been living under a rock. I've been teaching, and I've been um a career fixed and I've been doing everything I had to do for, for the family and home. I never knew anything about crypto, never heard about Bitcoin. But ever since he asked me about Dogecoin, I was like, what, what's a Dogecoin? So I did my research and I started getting into, um, you know, cryptocurrency. Then I found um, SafeMoon, I found Shiba Inu. I started to invest in that. And one, t and one night I was, I was at home and I'm watching a video. So shout outs to Ray from the Barter Town. And he was promoting this this protocol that gives one percent a day, and I was like, "Wait, one percent a day? That could be massive, and you could compound." So <laughs> I put in like you know a couple thousand dollars in there. I was like, "Okay, let me let me see how this thing goes." Man, I wish I would have put a lot more like in into drip. That was like last year, I believe October. I got in around twelve dollars or thirteen dollars. Oh, nice! And I was like, "Man, um." I wish I, I would have bought more because I had like five thousand dollars at the time, and I put it into hex, guys. And I did the staking, and 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 my five thousand dollars turned to five hundred dollars. <laughs> Damn! So I was like, oh no, I should have put it into drip. Like, what was I thinking? But you know, it's all good. You know, we uh, we have to go through all these um ex um experiences in order for us to get better at our craft. So I was like, listen, I'm going all in um, to drip. I dollar cost average and I'm not looking back. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Nice. Sounds like we all have some uh, very similar introductions into crypto and goals mm -hmm. and, and the coulda, shoulda, wouldas and why didn't we do this kind of uh, experiences, man. I think that really sums up crypto as a whole, DeFi specifically. Man, lessons learned for sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Well, speaking of lessons learned and uh, maybe lessons gained, we can go on to the next question that was posted. So we'll start from the bottom and work our way up this time. So we'll go with uh, DeFi Crypto Talk. What is the overall goal of your channel or why you created your, your channel in specifically? Uh, so actually, believe it or not, it's because I've, I actually watched uh, some of you guys, <laughs> actually. So uh, that sort of gave me the inspiration 
uh, to create the channel. Uh, as far as the goal, it's just to put good content out there, just spread the word of drip out there. Um, I had recently started um, just, you know, people with, you know, five, six, seven subscribers. I recently started just featuring them on my channel just to help, you know, help build them up. So basically building everybody else up, but also spreading the word of drip out there. So, and uh, I'm having fun with it. Um, I changed my videos probably every other day, the styles I do them and, uh, you know, just hoping people will like it and like the content and also just, you know, eventually, hopefully get into drip. Uh, so that's just the primary goal for now. So as far as the future is concerned, I don't really know where I want to take it. Uh, but right now, I'm just having fun with it. Nice. I think we can probably all relate to that. What about you, Moonshot Max? What's your goal? What got you uh, into content creation? <laughs> Yo, guys, listen up. You know who got me into doing YouTube? It was my wife. <laughs> like, my <laughs> wife was like, Yo, Moonshot, <laughs> like, you talk too much about this crypto thing to me every day. I'm tired of hearing about it. You need to go talk to people that want to hear about this stuff. And I was like, what? Come on. She was like, yo, you should create a channel. And I'm like, nah, YouTube is not for me. She was like, no, I'm telling you, you would do well. So I said, okay, let me let me create this channel. But but for me personally, the overall, I mean, the 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 reason why I really go hard for, for my channel is because I remember how it it was being a newbie and how difficult it was to navigate through the crypto space, how I had to do research on my own and find other video got, find other videos. I watched a couple of you guys, and it was just hard as a newbie to really get an understanding of, um, you know, of, of crypto. So I said, if I create a, a channel, I'm gonna be more so like a teacher. Mm -hmm. I wanna connect these topics to other real life situations. I want for people to really understand the protocol because I feel like people don't really un understand drip. And that's why they, they're willing to buy at $5 and sell it and sell it at six, $6 because they don't understand compound interest. Mm -hmm. Like there's no reason why you should sell your drip, <laughs> right? Especially with the launch of the ah. Adam. So the old, I mean, the whole goal of my channel is to educate people in a way that can have an impact mm -hmm. and, and, and their understanding will be elevated. That way they can make the best, the best decisions for them as well as us in the drip, you know, platform. So. And I like that. I can relate to that uh, quite a bit. I know you're a teacher and uh, that's kind of what I do in regards to fitness and coaching. But we'll get to me after we hit up Bruce. Let's hear from you, Bruce. Yeah, I think uh, very similar to the other guys. I I mean, we're so early with DeFi and so early with crypto. It's just uh, like I saw an opportunity there to create a channel to help people get on board with DeFi and crypto. Not so much specifically to Drip, but Obviously, Drip is very, it's very beneficial for your channel to make videos on Drip because there's so many new people coming in week after week after week. So for me, I saw the opportunity in terms of educating people and getting into DeFi and getting into crypto. Same for, for Moonshot Max, just trying to educate people because we're so very early. Uh, and probably the other reason would be originally with getting into crypto was to find another revenue stream. And I saw potentially YouTube could be another revenue stream as well. So our situation here is not, not great, like I mentioned before with our restaurant and everything. So I was just trying everything I could to uh, find another way, another form of revenue. And I, I saw an opportunity with YouTube and doing this channel. And really, it's been very, very um, beneficial for, for me and for everyone who's, who subscribes to, you, to my channel, probably your channel as well, and getting involved. So that's basically the, the goal for my channel is to help people get into DeFi and crypto. and. Uh, pretty much go from there nice yeah definitely can relate to that as well so for me um i actually created the channel so ironically i did it because i saw jonathan from drip farm blow up mm -hmm. uh with ten thousand subscribers like within a month so i literally was watching this guy and i'm like wow like this is insane as and, and much like moonshot said i didn't have a wife tell me that i should create content but i had uh my partner and friends because i was always talking their ear off about you know uh, crypto content, just crypto in general, and the corruption of the fiat system and all this, you know, what people think would be conspiracy theory stuff. And I'm like, I need to talk to somebody about it. And then I just love coaching. So I came out here to teach English. I can relate to what Mooch I was saying as being a teacher, my mom, 20 years in the teaching industry. And I came out here and started teaching fitness. And I just love to see 
people take the knowledge I share and apply it and then, you know, build themselves up with it. So this just became the natural path of me just loving to talk a lot and share information and being super passionate about what was going on in regards to fiat and crypto. And then seeing someone else blow up their channel is like, okay, all signs point to, I need to do this exact same thing. And then what the hell, let's see what happens. And then on top of that, living here in Cambodia. So my actual vision or goal for my channel is the reason I'm actually doing and teaching out here is to empower the impoverished. So I found out very quickly how little money it takes to actually make a difference in other people's yeah. lives outside of the West. And I was just like, damn, you know, like this person sits out here, works 18 hours a day to make $10. And I was like, yeah. if I could connect them with a utility, a vehicle where they could make uh, more than that, you know, in a couple minutes or whatever the case may be, and then pass that wealth on to their kids or whatever. So I was just like, man, I, I can't pass this up. So all of that combined became this like drive for me to uh, try to put out content of value and see where I could take it. And yeah, I just put it all on the back of drip because like at the end of the day, I was like, I ain't got no other place that I can really bet on <laughs> that I think will still be here. Yeah, that's awesome. I love how drip, the power of drip can have so much impact on people in Southeast Asia with the the um, the cost of living over here is being so cheap and everything. It doesn't it doesn't take a lot of drip in your faucet to really change lives over here. So it's, it's pretty awesome that you're doing that. Yeah, man, it's crazy to, to just to see that difference. I think I did a video out here showing like, yeah, what the cost of living is. So the average person, actually 60 percent of the world makes less than ten dollars a day. And so you're looking at drip right now at five bucks, you know, somebody could yeah. buy, you know, one or two drip and then a year from now be making more than they were making, you know, daily for the last 10 years of their life or something. It's like, that's just yeah. insane. You know, can't pass yeah. that up. Exactly. All that's right. Fantastic. Let's roll on to the next one here. We'll probably get enough to get three or four out of these since we're talking about drip. I know everybody's not specific drip content, but we all want to see drip succeed since uh, we have our bags invested in it. So what suggestion if you could be Forex for a day, you know, they always have a question of if you could be president for the day, but I don't know if anybody wants to be president in the US anymore now. But <laughs> if you could be Forex for a day and actually uh, make drip more bullish and wave a magic wand somehow, like what, what would you envision or what would be some ideas you would add to drip that you think could be especially seeing all the other things popping out in DeFi? uh what would you add to to trip if you could make it more bullish or improve it to some degree just a quick message please like subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss another video this helps bring brand awareness to the channel as well as all forex shark related projects thank you go back to DeFi crypto talk all right, sorry for the delay. I'm chasing my, I think I need some fitness tips from you. I'm chasing my two-year-old around right now at the park. So, um, but I think uh, Forrest has the, uh, I think he has the secret sauce to uh, being bullish. And I think he definitely, um, with the, the lending and all the other, you know, the gamification, all that's, that's ahead. I think he already has it. Um, you know, it's going to take time. And I think in the DeFi space, a day, you know, a day in the DeFi space feels, feels like a year. You know, and we saw a little bit of that when, you know, when we have these launches that go on and, uh, you know, there may be some kind of a delay and, you know, people just freak out. So I think it's just, in my, in my opinion, patience is key. I think we let, you know, let him do his thing. Then, uh, you know, we're going to see the fruits of his labor. We're all going to, we're all going to, uh, just, you know, benefit from that. Nice. Yep. Leave it, uh, as is, I guess, huh? It's working great. <laughs> what about you, Moonshot? Man, listen, I got an idea. I'm like, I feel like during this whole animal farm process, guys, that Drip has turned to like the the ugly stepsister of the ecosystem and everybody's attention is on the animal farm. I wish Forex would just have a button on the animal farm that takes you straight to the faucet. Because because I'm saying to myself, if you're if you're creating LP tokens, you're gonna deposit it in that 8x pool in I mean farm and it is gonna be giving us dogs. People are, are, are going to be interested in the drip ecosystem and saying, hold up, <clears throat> what is this drip thing? And there's a button right there on the animal farm that you could click and brings you right to the faucet. Hmm. I, I'm, I mean, the button don't, don't have to be something really, really huge or, or the, um, the main event. But I think people are going to have to go look for, for the button, which mm -hmm. I, I don't like. Yeah. I, yeah. Want, I, want, I want them to have quick, easy access and I'm thinking that um, our referral um, address that's there on the animal farm, right? 
Once you click on the faucet, your buddy address goes right into the drip faucet. Mm -hmm. So if they if they want to sign up right away, then they could do it right then and there. So I'm that's the one thing I'm I'm like, wow, if Forrest could do that and I could talk to him about that, I think that'd be super bullish. Yeah, I like that. Somebody actually put that in my comments on one of my videos. Uh, they're a web designer. And since this is an ecosystem, and I, I want to say Forex mentioned this, but he said that there should be something in the navigation bar or something that allows for you to get to Drip since Drip is part of this ecosystem. And I, I want to say that maybe Forex, uh, he mentioned an AMA and will do it at some stage. And it's only waiting now because it's not the same UI layout. So it would kind of not look uh congruent but i'd love to see that as well what about you bruce yeah i really love that idea from moonshot i think that's a fantastic idea i think in terms of the bigger picture ideas i i can't really add anything more i think like like DeFi crypto talk said forex has got it pretty much down pat in terms of the the ideas and and things that i think will be really really good now I too am a, in a previous life I was a professional web designer <laughs> so nice. I, I mean I would only <laughs> I would only improve things on the front end just like what Moonshot Max said I would improve things like that and improve the things more, more connectivity and, and more uh fluid between the two protocols I think that would be a perfect perfect idea but as as for big picture I can't help I can't help in that regards <laughs> yeah I, I think I'm on the same page the only thing I was thinking and I did this on a video as well and it was it was brought up I want to say on Dryptopian's chat I would have loved to see the farm have a he increased the tax but I still think it should have been higher because I would like to see a less of an incentive for people to basically uh decrease their dividends from the tax vault or from the drip faucet and move them over to the farm. I know the farm needs to be there, but I would like for the taxes to be a little higher. So it makes people kind of hesitate, right? And then also with those higher taxes, so maybe 5% in, 5% out. So it's still a good play. With those taxes, have some of that go back to the reservoir. I would have loved to yeah. see that implemented because that raises the drip price floor, right? And Forex already mentioned that people buy hype, not value. So that's what he's trying to fix probably with layer two and the new UI so that we have a price appreciation and drip going up into the right versus down into the right. And then that makes people want to ape in. So if that were built into the farm to where there's this constant raising of the floor price and those taxes go back towards that, I think that would have been definitely more beneficial. And I think people still would have ached into the farm even at like a 3%, 4%, 5%, because you're already getting 10% in, 10% out on the, the uh, drip faucet, right? So um, having half of that is still bullish for people with maxed out wallets. But yeah. I don't want them to make any changes now. <laughs> Let's just roll forward with it. <laughs> no Let's no. just, just get the launch out of the way first. Exactly. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got about seven minutes left so we can wrap up. We got S Crypto that just popped in. So S Crypto, you can jump in and give us a little introduction of yourself, like uh, what, who you are, what got you in the drip, what got you in the crypto. We'll, we'll end with that. Awesome, just wanna confirm everyone can hear me? Yeah. Yes, sir. Perfect, perfect. Well, S Crypto here, um, been in crypto probably since around 2018. So really kind of started from the bottom. You know, I was one of those people that uh, looked at what is crypto, you know, those really dumbed down videos of, you know, explaining the basics of blockchain technology, uh, stuff like that. And I think that really helped me, you know, gain an understanding of the basics. And then somehow, you know, with the uh, loophole, we sometimes go through with YouTube, the suggested videos and things like that. I came across a Stutter Breezy video and uh, that's kind of what started me off you know just um, him explaining some of the projects and stuff he was in seeing some of the gains that he was making and that's really what kind of pushed me into uh, starting to learn more about the crypto space so i got in right around uh, i would say i got in drip as soon as it was released so that was one of the one of the big projects i had first started in was drip after you know, getting rugged in a couple of different projects. I was, I remember like Salt Swap, um, Viking Swap. This was really when all those those pancake swap forks and stuff were coming out. Was getting rugged in a couple of those. So 
wanted to get in a solid project and you know heard about drip and everything that it was able to to do pay out one percent a day which is unheard of mm -hmm. so got into that day one and from there just you know built it and really started getting more involved with the, the community with creating videos and things like that so uh, my drip journey really started off by myself i didn't have a team probably for the first almost first year or so um, and then really just started seeing the momentum that the community was bringing on and started creating videos about drip and some other projects and stuff and now now here i am yeah nice Yep, sounds uh sounds similar to what we all mentioned. Someone brought us in, and we just got tired of getting rugged, man, <laughs> and decided we would go with something that looked like it had solid fundamentals. Facts. Mm -hmm. um, yep. So I think we can kind of wrap it up there and just recap, and then uh, definitely to all of you guys watching this, we'd love to hear from you all what kind of content questions you would like to hear from us. We'd like to do this on a reoccurring basis. Um, and offer more value to you guys as a community members and best be heard from you to see what that can look like. Uh, so for final thoughts, we'll just go around the room and see if you guys got anything you'd like to close out with. Bruce? Uh, not a lot, just uh, thanks thanks for this and uh, it's great meeting you guys and hopefully we can do this on a more regular basis. I'd really love to as, as maybe you know, my channel is mostly about the strategy for Drip, and I'd really love to, to hash out some strategy talk for Drip in the future at some point. Definitely. That would be really nice. But yeah, nice to join you guys. Awesome. Moonshot. Man, <clears throat> sorry, the last thought, man. Yo, launch the farm, Forex. Please <laughs> launch the farm on the floor. People, people <laughs> yeah. are taking off of work. People are running towards the bathroom at work to sneak on their phone to buy these dogs. Like people are like Forex, I feel like he don't understand that there's like thousands of people waiting on the sidelines that are everyday people. And I think he he does know, but we 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 be taking days off of work for the animal <laughs> farm. So I just want to say, yo, launch the farm on the on the first. We are gonna have a great time and I'm expecting drip price to go up i'm expecting everything to be bullish and i'm super excited to be here with you guys i definitely want to talk some more about strategies as yeah. well and just um drip content and 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 how we could just um educate people on the drip ecosystem so they could have a thorough understanding of it in order to make the best uh, decisions but thanks again for um, having me on awesome definitely as crypto final words yeah, really final words, just want to say, you know, I think this is a, a great opportunity for us to really collaborate. And, you know, I think that's the cool thing about everybody's channels. Everybody has a little bit of a different perspective. So I think it's a really good opportunity for us to, you know, work together and and really just push out this this great content. I, I don't think there's a lot of projects out there like Drip that has a community and support like it does. Mm. So us being able to work together is great. And then echoing with... Uh, Moonshot Max said, I think everybody feels the same with that, man. Just just really hoping that this all launches on Tuesday. Really excited. Have a lot of dogs, a lot of pigs. So just really start making these gains and really start building from there on out. I think we have a lot of momentum and super excited to see what comes. X. DeFi, Crypto Talk. Yeah, first and foremost, I want to say, hey, huge shout out to you uh, for setting this up and getting us up all on here. I know it was a little bit of a challenge with the time zones and everything, but I think this is really good. That's really rare. I think these days to see, uh, like everybody else has pretty much said, um, you know, a big group, of, especially a, pro a project as big as Drip, you know, get a whole bunch of YouTubers together and collab. And I'd be more than happy to do this anytime, any day of the week, uh, you know, again. So, again, I appreciate it. Definitely. Yeah, and appreciate you guys for answering the call. It was uh, definitely uh, interesting to try to get people to to join in and take part in this, but uh, I think it definitely can offer some value to the community and echo what Bruce said and Mooncha Max about strategy. I'd love to hash that out. There's so many different ways to play this, so it'd be great to just he hear different people's ideas and perspectives on what we can do with that. So to all the viewers, of course, you guys you know should like and subscribe to all of our channels. You guys know the drill, and um, we'll be doing this again in the future for sure. And we'd love to hear from you all to see what kind of content you'd like to hear. And questions, of course, you know, pop those into the chat. 
uh, in the comment box as well. So we can kind of dig through those as we go forward. Other than that, we are out, I guess. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya. Have a good day.